So we want to get back to that three on your side story about that East Valley couple that was duped out of $400. That's right. Scammers tricked them saying they were behind on their electric bill. Here's Gary. Well, this scam works because it has all the necessary factors. You have the call out of the clear blue. You have the panic mood that sets in. And then, of course, you have the deadline that is set. You put all three of those into motion and you have what's called the utility scam. Having electricity is a necessity. We need it for lights, cooking, refrigerating our food. Basically, it's hard to live without. So when Annette Nichols got a phone call recently from someone she thought was with SRP, her electric company, it got her attention. Well, I just like go into like panic mode. Panic mode because the caller claimed that Annette forgot to pay her SRP electric bill. And if she didn't pay within 30 minutes, her power was going to be cut off. Your mind is probably all over the place. Oh well, yeah, immediately I'm like, oh my gosh, did I forget that? You know, so I'm like, you know, reeling in my mind about, you know, is there any possible way I could have forgot that? It's like, well, maybe I must have. Turns out their caller was a scammer posing as an SRP representative. But Annette had no idea because the scammer spoofed his number to make SRP pop up on her caller ID. It showed up in my phone as SRP the way I have it saved in my phone. The scammer told Annette that she needed to forward around $400 immediately. Alarmed, Annette had the scammer call her boyfriend, Todd Donovan. And it's Richard from SRP. This Todd? And I go, yes, it is. He goes, we're just talking to Annette. Listen, this is what I've done. I've taken the SRP crew and sent them to another job. They're not at her house, but they're going to come back if I don't get $398 in half an hour. Now, remember, Todd and Annette were dealing with a scammer who they thought was an SRP representative. So Todd says he really didn't think much about it when the scammer told him to go to a nearby CVS store and load $400 onto a prepaid debit card. Todd loaded the money onto a GoBank debit card and called the scammer back with the numbers needed to access the funds. Once he did, Todd immediately felt as though he had just been conned. He was right. I'm thinking, this is way too easy. Unfortunately, Todd and Annette had just been duped and were never behind on their electric bill. So while at Todd and Annette's home, three on your side, call the scammer's number. This is Michael. How can I help you? Hi, Michael. Is this SRP? That is correct, sir. How can I help you today? Um, are you sure you're SRP? I'm pretty positive, sir. You're speaking to the one of the general manager. How can I help you? You're the general manager with SRP. Yes, sir. How can I help you? Well, actually, you're not. You're a scammer. You're nothing but a lowlife. Annette later tells me that the voice on the other end is the same voice that she spoke with. Why do you rip people off the way you're doing this? Sir, no. What you talking about? According to SRP's website, it's a common scam that consumers need to avoid. As for Todd and Annette, it's a very expensive $400 lesson. You guys are ultimately out $400. How, how bad is that hit you in the, in the pocketbook? That's, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. You know, something like that hurts, it's, and it's very upsetting. Remember, if you missed any kind of a utility payment, you will be getting some kind of a notification through the mail. If you get a phone call demanding payment within 30 minutes, it's a scam.